Alright guys, welcome to Scratch Go, where I rate your Finds of Freddy's games on Scratch. And today we're going to be looking at a game called 12 slash 25 slash 89 or December 25th, 1989. And it's made by a game called Dev of Powers. And I have played his games on stream and they were pretty good games. I really like four of them and they all got A tier. So going to this game, I had confidence knowing it's going to be like around an A or an S. So yeah, I was pretty excited to play this game. And getting into it, the first thing I want to talk about is his visuals. This game has really good visuals that you see on screen right now. It looks really, really nice. It's not the best artwork I've seen, but it is pretty good compared to the games on stream. So that's a good thing. The gameplay, however, I have to say is probably the best part about this game. Already on the first night, you're greeted with two doors, a computer, and you can look behind where there is a window, and you can go up into the attic. So there's a lot to cover here. The shadowy dude on the cams doesn't do much. He just sits there and would come from the window or from the first cam where you would flash. Not really a big deal. But my favorite part of this game are the two doors in the attic. The doors work just like not four, where you would flash your light and check if they are there. And if they are there, you would close it. So it, it's kind of like FNAF 4, but they added a bit of audio. So when they do appear, it had, uh, has that loud noise that will hit, um, that will hit you. It's kind of it's kind of there to like surprise you kind of when they do appear. And they have a bit of animation when they both show and leave. So that's pretty. It's a pretty nice touch. And um, another thing I would say is about this gameplay is just how fast it is, dude. Like, um, there's just so much to do on the first night, which is my problem with games. There's just little to no action happening at all. So we just be sitting there doing nothing at all. Like, like I remember on stream, I would just be looking at chat like 90% of the time because I know there will be nothing at all to do. So going into this game and actually playing it even on the first night is actually like a blessing. So really good job there by Dev. Again, my most favorite part about the game has to be its gameplay. It's just so much fun, especially since there's a lot to do like the two doors, the camera, the attic flash just just flashing through the doors and stuff like that which is another thing that i like when i first played this i'm not gonna lie i was a little spooked i was a little spooked because if there's one thing that creeps me out about fnaf games it's just not knowing anything like you have all of these mechanics and you just don't know what to do with them so i would just be looking at the door just hoping nothing happens because there's just there's just so much to do so yeah, I really like the the environment it gives off. It's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, speaking of audio, um, the audio here is actually used wonderfully. Like the jump scares aren't the only thing that has really loud audio. Like I said, when you're looking through the doors, it kind of it has that that surprise audio when the when you flash them. So yeah, it kind it kind of creeps you out a little bit, and ca it kind of surprises you. It doesn't really make you scared. It just surprises you that that they're there. So yeah, I I really like what they did there, and same with the ambience. The ambience it has that creepy environment sound. It has it has like that abandoned sound that you hear. So it's it's used it's used really really good, and it's something that you're just not bored. Or annoyed listening to like in Finds of Freddy's one, you just have that loud goddamn screeching noise like the light. If you know what I'm talking about, it's kind of annoying and I don't know. I just don't like it. So I like the the silence that's used here. It's just it's just that anything can happen at any moment that can break the silence. So it's so yeah, it's pretty good. I really like it. And this game also has cutscenes, which is another thing I forgot to cover. There's there's cutscenes in this game, which aren't I mean they're not really um, the best cutscenes, but you know it's nice to have a you know a bit of um, a bit of it. 
in this game, especially it kind of seems the game more alive instead of a just just like a demo, I guess you can say. And which actually I forgot to mention, the knights here are very fast. Like not in terms of like the animatronics coming towards you, but like the time. Like it would be 1 a.m. the first minute, and then the next minute would be like 5 a.m. Like it's crazy fast, which is another thing I like about these games they're not so long Jesus it's so annoying when games are so long cuz you would cuz I remember playing Finds of Freddy's or any game or any scratch game you would die and they have to do the thing all over again and it will be super long super boring but here the nights are so quick they're straight to the point and that is why the gameplay is the best part everything is straight to the point and you're actually in the game playing it <laughs> So yeah, really, really nice. And um, speaking of gameplay, the last thing I'd like to talk about um, is the coding. So far when I was playing, there was no glitches, which is, again, another thing that pisses me off when I play these games. There would always be bugs, and I goddamn hate it. So playing this game, knowing there's no bugs, is the best feeling ever because it actually feels like a real game so yeah well it wasn't until I reached night 5 I encountered it I, I literally found a bug but it wasn't that big of a deal it was kind of a broadcast mistake he, the creator kind of forgot to add a piece of coding which it, I would like to say it, it's, it is a little annoying because I had to reload the page and then go into the variable change it and then play it but he did fix it right away like right after i said it so yeah it wasn't that really big of a deal i'm glad that he fixed it right as i was well rating it which is you know a little dumb but i let it slide for now okay so yeah it was it wasn't a big deal so yeah this this is an amazing game i really like what they did um, it wasn't just Dev that, was, that made this, it was him and three other people. So, yeah, really big congrats on you guys. I really enjoyed this. This is one of those rare games where I just I just wish were in my streams. But hey, everybody goes on a different pace, so it's fine. But, yeah, really, really nice game. A game that I haven't really played in a while. It's, it's, it's it's a lot like FNAF 4. If you like FNAF 4, you're gonna love this game. And if you it's and especially if it's fast. If you like fast plays games, then go ahead, play this game. So um, putting this on the scale, I would per first point out that this that the scale is actually gonna work differently. So how this is gonna work is the lowest score is 10 points, which is an F tier, and the highest point is 40 points which is an S plus meaning it is a perfect score so uh, and so an F tier would be uh, an F and below I mean god dang I'm, I'm so bad at talking so an F tier would be 10 points and then a 15 would be a D and then 20 would be a C a B would be a 25 and I think an A will be a 30 and then S is a 35, and then S plus is 40. So it'll go up by 5. Okay, just, just to give you a little idea of what it is so you're not as confused. So, um, yeah, putting this on the scale, I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a fat 35 points. So congratulations. This game is perfectly, I mean perfectly, on the dot, a an S tier. So congratulations to the creator. And as I'm recording this, uh, before I was recording this, I was looking at the coding because I didn't know what to give a coding. I don't know how to, I don't know what score to give it. At first, I was going to give the, the total score of 34, which was, which was going to be an A tier, just so you guys know. That would have been an A tier. Do you know how sad it would be? If he got an A tier and he was one point away from S, it's still good, but he was one point away from S, so that would that was actually scary. But I went back and then I saw a mistake, so I changed it back to 35. So yeah, be happy you you got you got a score. Can you imagine he got a 34 instead of a 35, dude? That would actually just crush him right there. 
so yeah <laughs> that was that was very scary so yeah you got it on the dot a an s tier game so yeah congratulations to dev of powers for that um Actually, I'm gonna go to the shoutouts right now. I like to say special shout out to Dev of Powers himself. I don't know, or for short, IDK1885 and Splino S. And lastly, that Scout70. These are the people that made this beautiful game. And yeah, if you guys wanna play this game, it's gonna be linked below. I highly suggest playing this. This is one of those rare games that they're just really good, really fast paced, and a bit terrifying. I'm not gonna lie. They're they're a little terrifying. So it has a little bit of everything, which makes this one of the best games I've played so far. Um, I can't really say on stream because it wasn't really on stream. But hey, still a really good game. So um, yeah. Um, if there is anything you guys disagree with. Or if I'm missing anything, go ahead and say in the comments below. So when the next episode of the Scratch Kill um, comes, you know, I can change some things. And um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put like five minutes of this game just so you guys can see a little bit. Even though you're already seeing like already like what 12 minutes of this. But, you know, just to give you even more of a glimpse of what this game's about. And let me know what should I actually put. Uh, up next on the scratch scale if we can reach 35 likes i will do that i will make the next episode of the scratch scale um anyways um i'm hoping that you guys like this video for some reason youtube took away dislikes so i can't see if this is this whole scratch scale idea is good or not but you guys are gonna have to tell me in the comments below and um yeah i'm hoping you guys really do enjoy this anyways i'll see you guys later goodbye